guys and welcome to my channel and today we are doing a speed build of the renovation challenge so on my channel on twitch we have a what is called a renovation challenge so in other words i build a house i give you some rules and then you just go and you renovate it as whatever you naturally would um and so i learned my lesson from the last time i did this video because i don't know if y'all caught that but in the uh description I kind of wrote that <laughs> I, I think I wrote it in the description I kind of wrote that I kind of it, it just kind of all went straight to hell and I like I saved well I went to save the video to my computer and the program crashed so with it it took all of my work so I am saving it super early with all these edits done this way I don't have to worry about it anymore all I have to do is just put the sound recording on top of it and call it a day. That is it. <laughs> um, I've cut out quite a bit because I did this on stream. And so there's a lot of like uh, decision making I did that I cut out because I also, because on Twitch you also talk with everybody that's chatting in the, uh, um, in the little room there with you. And so I uh, wasn't the most focused <laughs> normally if I'm building if I'm building by myself um, it usually goes pretty quick I can usually spend anywhere between probably 20 minutes to an hour on a build I spent like two and a half hours on this if I would not have built this on stream this probably could have taken me an hour max <laughs> um, but if, if I hadn't been building this on Twitch, it probably would not have been for the renovation challenge. And to be fair, though, I still love this little house. I love this house. It is so freaking cute. Like, I'm thinking about doing this challenge. Like, I don't, I don't usually do my own renovation challenges. And it's not because I think they're impossible. It's just because I have a lot of stuff going on in my own time as it is that time gets away from me. <laughs> Um, but, um, uh, so I did this one, um, the rules will be listed down below as well. It's also posted to my Twitter, Discord, and, um, on the gallery. So in case you are interested, you can always check out one of those three things. And it has all the rules listed along, like, with, as I said, the description box straight down below. Um, so it's a fairly simple house. It's one, well, technically it's two bedroom, three bath. Um, it only has one bedroom in it though. I turned the other room into an office and so with this Because the last renovation challenge we just did was all about the Christmas and Christmas season and all that kind of good stuff Now because this one will be for the new year. I mean Technically it it'll be toured on the 30th, but it'll be for the new year because I won't be back until the second So that's what we're going with so it is New Year, New Sim. So this Sim has changed careers. So now they are working on tips or they're working on what they make with their hands. So um, art, um, they can play the guitar, they can be a comedian, they can be a singer. Um, actually, I don't, I don't think you can sing from the mic. Anyway, but that kind of thing. So they have to do one of those things. That's how they're. That's how they make their money now. Um, you have to add that item into the house so we can tell what they're doing now. Um, so whatever you want to add, you can add to that. Um, they also have suddenly gotten health conscious and they need two fitness items in order to make their lives better. So I didn't necessarily say this on stream, but it can be fitness. It can be wellness. But it has to be two items that has something to do with health and fitness. Um, otherwise, I mean, you can pick whatever it is that you would like. And I kind of like doing these videos with the rules because I can really say, like, all my thoughts about the kind of rules and, like, what, um, what I really mean by them. Because I know, like, in descriptions, especially on the gallery, there's only so much room to write and trust me I get really close to those character limits in fact I do go over those character limits and I have to rewrite the whole thing and figure out how it's going to fit um, but uh yeah so the uh, third rule is because they changed their career 
and they've now decided to be become a health nut and start doing all this stuff. Uh, they now need a basement income property. So you add a basement to this property and it must be livable for a tenant. So it must be fully furnished. Well, I mean, technically real tenants bring their own uh, furniture, but but since this is becoming an income property and since the roommate system doesn't, I don't know if roommates are, is, if they're exclusively, I think they're exclusively like a university thing, although I'm not 100% sure. They may not be. They may be a base game thing. Either way, this house doesn't necessarily get played in. So, um, anyway, so with that, the basement needs to be an income property with at least a roommate in it. And then lastly, and this is going to be the difficult one, plus the maximum value of the property can be 90000 which is pretty generous considering the fact that it's sixty five. But you do have to make a basement. So that's the reason why I went with 90000 because you have to make the basement. You have to furnish the basement. You still have to add in the extra items for the other son that has decided to uproot and change their entire lives. And then also... Um, the last rule, which is probably going to be the most difficult, especially for a lot of people to follow, is that you um, can only use two packs plus base game. So you can use whatever packs you want as long as they're not CC, because uh, I know some people come out with CC packs and stuff like that. Um, but you can use any two packs that you want and base game, and then that is it. Those are the only items that you can use in the game, so or in this renovation challenge. So, I hope you have fun with it. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I kind of just went through and furnished this, and I freaking love this house. I really do. Like, there's so much about this house that I love so much. Um, and I'm sitting going, why? Why do I build these houses that I get so attached to just to know I'm sending it essentially to the slaughter of the renovation challenge? And I expect it just to come back fine, I guess. Um, but I found inspiration for this home on Google. I was just kind of, I just, I searched houses. I'm not going to lie. I also found a couple of things that I should not have found, but were hilarious. Like I found that this guy in Michigan, in order to sell, in order to get this house more views and to get it to sell, he literally dressed up in a scream costume, you know, the scream costume with a knife and took a picture in every single picture of the house. It's freaking hilarious. I was dying laughing. And then there was another one that that one wasn't that one wasn't as funny. Uh, but <laughs> I thought the journalists who had a little bit of creative freedom. <laughs> the what they said was what they said was, well, what was the article title? It was something like murderer's house is free to o other predators and murderers. And I'm like, what? What? And I open the article. No. What it is is that the house had been boarded up. I don't know if it was due to weather or homeless people or other murderers trying to break into it or whatever. It, it doesn't really matter. Um, the boards had, like, kind of come off. And they're like, oh, well, since the boards are, like, lifting away, it's inviting other people to come in here and murder. And I'm like, okay, how about we calm down for just a second? Let, let's calm down for just a second. Just, just because somebody else was murdered in this house does not necessarily mean everybody and their mothers looking at this house going, I need to murder in it, okay? Like, this is, this is getting a little, a little crazy. A little crazy, Okay. That's, that's all I'm saying. But, uh, yeah, it got, it got a little interesting for, for sure. Uh, but I did find inspiration for it on there. In fact, I tried to kind of mimic how the outside looked and then I didn't do the inside anywhere close to what they did. Honestly, I couldn't really see what they did on the inside. I guess it, cause I guess it was a video and, um, I just didn't have time to watch the whole thing while I was on stream. Plus, it's kind of rude to sit there and just watch a video on stream. Don't let, don't show this, don't show them anything. So you know, I uh, I kind of was like skipping through bits. So I mean, if I would have sat down and probably watched the video from beginning to end, I probably could have seen exactly where the walls were laid out and the doors were laid out. The guy literally was making like a miniature house, and it kind of looks like this, um, which is 
originally what inspired me to do it. It was just like, you know what, a modern house? Like, I almost never do modern houses. And this sounds super fun and super interesting. So that's what we're doing. And I had a great time with it. And it was a lot of fun. And uh, I just, I hate trees with the gallery. Because when you do that, it doesn't allow you to, like, uh, you don't get to see the house. Because the trees are too busy being in the way. And so I took the tree out that was at the front. And it kind of kind of cuts around a little bit. Because, like I said, I talked a little bit. And then I kind of just dawdled a little bit with it. And so, um, I kind of cut some, some unnecessary stuff out. Like, I put curtains throughout the entire house. Um, but I kind of cut it out because it kind of got mundane. Because I also kind of moved them, picked them up, moved them, picked them up, moved them. And, you know, that kind of that kind of stuff. Um, so we're just finishing out this little garden here at the very front of the property. And then we will be going straight into the tour. And, uh, you get to see this house in all of its wonderful glory. I do really enjoy this house. It is super freaking cute. So here we are. We're on the outside of the house and we're going to move right on in. It immediately opens up to the kitchen and then into the, like the little dining space there. And I had a, I was struggling with how I wanted the stairs, but I'm really happy with the way the stairs turned out because I mean, it makes it easy for your sim to access both ends, but it doesn't feel like at the top of the stairs, your sims are met with a wall. Um, so I'm very happy with this little modern kitchen. It's all nice appliances, silver grays. And then as a pop of color, we had all the colorful curtains. Um, and I like doing the chairs in kind of offset colors or in a couple of different colors. Cause then it really adds like a, like a home feel to it. Um, downstairs, a bathroom fully decorated to the nights, except for toilet paper. Apparently they get to suffer. And then <laughs> it leads straight upstairs. This house is not play tested, and I do suggest you have move objects on in order to make sure you have all the items placed. Um, just as a fair warning. Most of the stuff should work. I do usually build my houses around making the items work. So I think the only thing that might really cause a problem might be the coat rack downstairs, just because I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but the master has a little half a little half bath off of it, and then there is a full bath over here on the other side, and then that little office space that you saw that's the other bedroom, which you could convert to a full bedroom if you wanted to. Um, the one thing we didn't see is we didn't go out onto that little balcony and take a look, but uh, it is there. It's got a little uh, bench on it just so that you can kind of sit out there. But uh, anyway, I'm going to wrap this up right here. Definitely leave your comments, feedback, and suggestions all down below. I hope you participate. I love seeing everybody's creations. And we do tour them live on Twitch. And I hope you can come by and see that sometime. And of course, in that description box, there is my Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. And of course, it has uh, the link right there. So you don't even have to like look for me. You can just click the link and it moves you right over. We're live on Twitch every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Love it if you can stop in. And as always, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And if you did like it, don't forget to subscribe. And then you can be notified when I upload new videos. And of course, thank you so much for watching. And hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Make sure you check out the videos listed right here on the screen. I mean, who knows? It could be your next favorite. And to make sure you don't miss any videos, if you hit that subscribe button right there in the center, it'll sign you up for notifications. Come on, hit that subscribe button. It'd mean the world to me.